This is the SSR, the first device to make the removal of surgical staples sterile and efficient. Wait, what? Who gets surgical staples? Are you planning on having a kid someday? What about a pet? How about this? According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, there are 51 million surgeries done every year. About one third of those surgeries require staples. So this pertains to almost 17 million people every year. Yeah, that's a lot of people. Um, I don't think you understand why this matters. So, meet Linda. She's a single mother and a registered nurse. And that cute little girl is her six-year-old daughter, Anne. The average registered nurse barely makes enough to pay for rent and groceries in a major city. But Linda does a great job raising her daughter, especially since she has to work 50 hours a week. Remember, you're going home with Jenny today, and Mommy's going to pick you up from her house tonight. You're not going to do anything for your birthday, Mommy? As soon as I'm done with work, I'm going to come pick up my birthday present. After 7 to 10 days, it's time to remove staples. But the doctor doesn't usually do this procedure. It's the job of the physician's assistant or nurse, in this case, Linda. The current process of removing surgical staples uses a scissor-looking device like this, or this. When a healthcare worker removes the staples, they must deform each staple individually, take their attention away from the wound, and place it in an open container, like so. This is dangerous. The removed staples are oftentimes knocked over. Oh, there you have it. At some point in their career, healthcare workers will be pricked by a staple and this spreads disease. These types of injuries occur about 385,000 times every year, and only half are reported. Linda has just been infected with hepatitis C. Sadly, all this could have been prevented. That's where we come in. The SSR is the first and only device that both deforms and retracts the staple in one motion, securing the sharp in a sterile compartment, making what happened to Linda impossible. You see, Sharp's injuries were such a big problem that the United States Congress made OSHA pass a law entitled the Needle Stick Safety and Prevention Act. It says a whole lot of stuff, but it was basically passed to make the disposal of Sharp safer to protect people like Linda. Take a look at how it changed the way we use needles. Now take a look at how we change staple removal. The SSR is almost 100 times faster and way less painful. And most importantly, it's safe. It's so safe, we got this awesome letter from Congress. Yeah, the United States Congress. We've also been issued seven patents, so the technology is protected. Look, there's a pretty good chance that at some point in your life, either you, someone you love, even Fido or Fluffy, will have a procedure done that uses staples to close their wound. Your contribution will not only help protect healthcare workers and potentially save lives, you may one day be getting staples removed and be able to tell the doctor that you helped bring this device to market. Please, contribute whatever you can. Every dollar counts towards improving healthcare for all of us.